Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Welcome to Postscript. My name is Michael Sullivan, business administrator here at FaithBridge, and I'm joined by Pastor Dan, Dan Slagle, who just brought us part three of our Esther Business Not As Usual series. Thanks, Dan, for joining us today. Sure thing. Great message this morning. Thank you. Uh, talking about uh, Esther and this pivotal part of the story where Mordecai comes and says, hey, we, God has brought you to this position for such a time as this, and uh, Esther goes and receives favor, and the rest is history, uh, bringing us on even to Jesus, as you pointed out today. Uh, we only had one question this morning on okay. Postscript that we'll talk through, uh, and it was simply, if God was in control, uh, as we know He is, how could Esther not do what God was directing her to do? Well, that is a good question. And uh, I have two responses okay. to it. The first uh, relates to one's definition of control when you say God is in control. Uh, God's providence, His control over events, does not mean that He is manipulating and directing every single decision of every person's life. We, we are free will creatures. Mm -hmm. And as Pastor Ken and I talked about last week, somehow, some way, and there is mystery to it, our free will cooperates with His sovereignty to accomplish His purposes. Mm -hmm. So that, that's the first thing I would say is, uh, what do we mean when we talk about control? Secondly, uh, there was a, a part of the passage that I read that I wasn't able to get to, it was just too too much stuff and too little time. Sure. You'll recall that uh, when Mordecai uh, plays his last card, so to speak, mm -hmm. with her, uh, one of the things he says to her is, if you don't do it, God is going to raise somebody else mm -hmm. up. So it really was not a question as to whether or not Esther would participate in order for God's will to get done. That, that was going to happen one way or the other. Mm -hmm. The question was, what would Esther's response be? Mm -hmm. Would she choose what was right or what was easy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's, like you pointed out, the same question that comes to us many a day when we're faced with challenges at work, sure. at home, uh, to make the decision. Are we going to obey God and join in on His mission and His purposes, or are we going to go the opposite direction. Yeah. So, well, thanks for being here. Thanks for a good message, yeah. a message that's helpful and clear as always. Uh, and thank you for joining us here on Postscript. We'll be back next week with part four of our Esther series. Join us back next week. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org postscript.